When I started high school, I made a promise to myself that I would not get a girlfriend until year nine. So through year seven to year eight, I did not talk to a single girl except one girl that I was kind of close to that I had confidence to talk to. So then lockdown commenced, so the only communication I really had was with my parents and my friends when we were playing uh, you know, some GDA and some NBA on the uh, PlayStation. So I go into year nine when lockdown ends and we go back to normal school. I've opened my mind to the dating world now. I'm willing to get a girlfriend if she is my type. I had a lust addiction. I was very addicted to watching corn every single day. I didn't have the confidence to go and get a girlfriend, nor that did I actually want one because I was focused on basketball at the time. So my feeling of loneliness, not being able to talk to women anymore, not at school or not even see them, not even see them except those websites that are really fake. And you get what I mean. I go from watching that four times per day, jacking the doodle off three or four times a day, and I go back to school and then addiction dropped a bit because eight hours of my day is taken up by school. So I have a lot less time now. So I might be doing it once or twice a day. I might do it once after I go home from school and then once before I go to bed. Something like that because I was heavily addicted to it. And because of how addicted I was, I knew something was wrong. I knew corn was bad for me. So I sat down one night and I went through all the reasons why I wanted to quit. All the reasons why I wanted to quit, because I wanted to grow this YouTube channel, because I wanted to attract higher quality women, because I wanted to get stronger in the gym. Yeah, all of it kind of related to power, being proud of myself, attraction to women, health, wealth, relationships, the three main uh, concepts of marketing, right? That's why I wanted to succeed on NoFab. And after three or four months of failing, I finally nailed it. I relapsed 14 times in uh, 48 hours, and after that, I was so drained, I had zero motivation to go back to the hub. So that happened. Now I'm at the point where I'm thinking I'm over 1,050 days on NoFap. I don't count anymore, but that's just the truth. So let's bring it back to when I was in the prime years of NoFap, about day 30 or day 60, I can't remember. Because of this mindset, because I've opened my mind to actually dating women now. If I feel the need to, if this woman is actually my type of girl, because I had very high standards, I wasn't just gonna go date everyone or anyone. And I was very proud of my younger self for that. I found myself getting less attracted to women because my lust addiction had vanished. And I think opening my mind to dating women actually led to me quitting corn a lot easier. That was a lot easier for me because I wasn't just seeing women as objects anymore, I was actually seeing through them who she was on the inside. When I was talking to her, I wasn't just looking at what she looked like, bro. I was actually talking to her because I'd opened my mind for dating. And that was just me at the time because I was a very closed-minded kid. I looked at what was only on the backside and the front side of a woman. I didn't look what was on the, in on the inside anytime, as 99% of teenagers do, which they, Later, usually mature, and it wasn't like I was not attracted to women anymore. No, I was just attracted to who they actually were and not who they were on the outside. And because I had let go of the addiction of the hub, I went through the no fat flatline because I was so addicted to ejaculation. That dopamine hit had been reduced. I wasn't getting that dopamine from corn anymore. So I went through a period of about two weeks of this self-improvement depression, no fat flatline, where your brain kind of resets because it's not experiencing these big hits of dopamine. So during this time period, I decided to sit down on a Saturday night with my cheat meal, because I used to have cheat meals on Saturday nights, I don't do that anymore, and watch The Dark Knight Rises, the Batman, the third one, the final one of the Christian Bale series. Favorite movies of all time, but this was my second time watching it. The first time was when it came out. I can't really remember how old I was, but I would have been very young. So it was good to visit a movie that I could not remember anything about. So I'm watching this movie. I'm getting real interested in it because Batman represents a masculine figure and that motivates me to do better in my content creation. That motivates me to go hit the gym harder because seeing Batman as this yeah, authority figure that I can live up to. Because he has no superpowers. He's just a fucking unit. Right? So I'm getting very motivated from him. And then Catwoman 
gets introduced. And I got really interested in the second part of the story, yeah, when Catwoman was more involved. And because Batman is a person that 90% of men will look up to, I see him with a girl. I see him with Catwoman. And I finish that movie, I turn the TV off, and I just sit there, and I feel very shit. I don't have a girlfriend, I have no social skills, and this continued for about maybe a week. Very lonely, and I wanted someone like Catwoman by my side. I was only thinking of the type of woman Catwoman would be. I was not thinking of any other type. It was literally her, I wanted just her, because I was really interested in Batman. I wanted to be him, I wanted to, as most men want to be. So I remember laying in bed, I can't remember exactly, but it was maybe three or four days after feeling this, and I was still feeling it. I'm laying there, I'm just thinking, why do I want this girl? Why do I want someone like Catwoman by my side? Why? I'm 15, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in life yet. <laughs> Still don't really know what the fuck I'm doing, but we're getting there. <laughs> As no one does. Well, it's simply because I haven't found that love inside of myself yet. I haven't found it. I haven't made enough progress. This Catwoman figure that I wanted by my side was simply to cover up my pain of not making enough progress. I knew I could simply do more. So I'm laying there and I said to myself, you have to think logically, not emotionally. Why do you want this certain figure? Why her? Like, why isn't, it can't be anyone else, just her. Her personality, her look, her fucking parkour abilities. I attached myself to her and I put my happiness on her. I lived in a fantasy world, simply to distract myself because I wasn't making enough progress in my own life. You will know when you're ready for a girlfriend, when your whole mind, your whole body says so. If, there is a part of your mind, and it's not some like fucking sigma male side of your mind that tells you you're not ready for a girlfriend, bro. You probably aren't. If your life is shit, you probably aren't ready for one. But if you meet a girl who's willing to go through this with you and build from the ground up, go ahead. If you're going to have a genuine connection with a woman and she's gonna help you grow and you're gonna help each other grow, not just her helping you, you help her as well, that's yeah, cool, but that's very rare, especially when you're down bad. However, if you do find it, take it up, seriously. As long as you know at the back of your mind she is the one for you. Choose a woman who chooses you. Yeah, because being rich, being famous, being fucking handsome, being uh, very attractive will not keep a woman. You will keep her if she chooses you. Think logically, not emotionally. I'll catch you in the next video, bro. Peace.